name's Tim Hall. I'm the owner of Milford Granite Company in Milford, New Hampshire. We serve a lot of contractors and builders as far as what they need for granite, mostly steps and posts. And make a lot of steps, posts, um, pretty much anything people need. Do a lot of chimney caps. My father was in the granite business, so after I graduated, I got into it too. Most of the work we do here, we do by hand. There's several different types of hand chisels. You know, you got your, this is called a hand set. That's used for rock facing the stone. You have a tracer to score a line when you want to split a stone. Then we use a hammer drill to drill some 3 8 holes. And we'll put in two half rounds and a wedge and then we split the stone. some of the slabs we'll buy slabs in different thicknesses and from that we'll take the slabs and we'll cut them down into mostly steps and posts or other product that people may need and we sell a lot of mailbox posts uh, over here we have some caps for a wall and we make a lot of benches and bird baths. Now this is a mailbox bracket that we put on a post, sell hundreds and hundreds of mailbox posts, can't sell them without a bracket. A 
large bird bat that we made. Uh, as you can see here, we hollowed out the middle and we do that using what's called a jet stick. I started working in the quarry business back in 1986 and this is the quarry that I worked at. Now how they quarry is if you see these holes in the ground they'll drill a hole down like 80 feet, they'll go over the edge, drill a hole down the bottom to meet it and then they'll saw. So that's why you see the nice smooth face here on the quarry and then they'll saw the other way. So what they end up with is nice blocks like this, all, all square, sawn, and ready to go. On the hill there you see an old, uh, it's got five wheels on it, that's what uh, Barretto's used to use to saw a curve right out of the ledge. It have two miles of wire and it would saw 18 inch slabs right out of the, right out of the ledge which they used, used to bring down to the building down behind you. Which was all set up for producing curb. Barretto's used to be one of the biggest curb producers up and down the East Coast. used to be an old overhead crane they used to use to handle all the curb slabs bringing into the mill to be cut up into curb. This is a Lindy thermal shaping torch. It uh, runs off of oxygen and kerosene and as you saw flame comes out the end here. It's uh, 2500 degrees it's about 150 pounds pressure. It has a little water jacket where the water streams out the side that you can use to cool your edges. Plus it keeps the tip cool, which is only made out of copper. And as you saw, it, it uh, thermals the stone, gives it a sandpaper finish. And it also shapes stone, which over the years we've done quite a few uh, shaping projects and uh, it's a very handy thing to have. Uh, most quarries use this. It was developed uh, in the 1950s and people still use them today.